So you're thinking of moving to Seattle, Washington, but you want to get out of the city and you're looking for a place to truly experience the Northwest? Well, then this video is for you. Steel, a real estate broker at Steel Realty Group right here in Bellevue, Washington. And I love doing videos about the Pacific Northwest. Today, we're covering Issaquah, Washington. We're gonna show you what it's really like to live, work, and experience the Pacific Northwest. Issaquah is a charming, beautiful place in the middle of the woods. Let me show you what it's all about. Okay, so we just pulled into a, a neighborhood in Issaquah called The Shores. The reason it's called The Shores is there's, there's different um, communities, divisions within The Shores, but we are headed down to the water to give you the full effect of what The Shores has to offer. It is a waterfront um, neighborhood community. There's um, about 50 homes that are actually on the waterfront and the rest are just within communities in the development. But there is a private park uh, beach where you, you can swim, play, barbecue, have outings. Uh, there's a dock that you can keep your boat there overnight, um, but it's not permanent moorage. But these houses here right on the waterfront, they do have obviously uh, docks and private moorage. And um, so give you an example of a price point. Uh, one of these houses here on our left hand side that um, that is waterfront you're looking at a three million dollar house the houses inside the shores that are not um, on the water depending whether they have a view or not and um, the prices range from one million to one million six is a really common price point in this neighborhood um, you know pros and cons um, some of the homes are close to the I-90 freeway. However, they did just build a concrete construction wall. Um, and that is uh, definitely helping now with the sound from Highway I-90. Um, but uh, personally, myself, I always like to stay a good distance away from the freeway um, for noise and pollution. Uh, but this neighborhood uh, where we're at, once you uh, get down into it, it's really quiet, peaceful. Um, my goodness, that is a house. My guess that home that's probably five to six million price range. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna spin around, get off the waterfront, and take a tour of some of the communities so you can see what the average uh, home inside the shores looks like and point out some of the um, other features of the neighborhood. And we will go. To the private park put the drone up in the air so you can get a feel of the park and the water and you will also see right across the water actually we'll call it the cove is a yes sammamish state park so um, you'll be able to get a view of that and that is a public park huge you can um, pull the boat up on the sandbar and um, have your family there so if you have 20 or 50 people there people can take turn on the boats or you can have boats jet skis all your toys there but fun part okay we are pulling into the Sammamish Beach Club the homes in this neighborhood range from as low as 1.1 average of 1.5 to 1.6 and we do have some waterfront homes that are in the 3 million and even go up to the 7 million uh, this neighborhood is inside uh, Issaquah. Um, you can see on our left hand side, they have a park there for the kids, tennis to play for the adults, sidewalks on both sides of the uh, street. We have lights at nighttime, and my favorite would be the uh, private beachfront access that you have in this community. Uh, this is a waterfront community of Lake Sammamish, which is Lake Sammamish, a very large lake. It, it's one of the biggest playgrounds. Uh, Bellevue, Issaquah, Sammamish, and Redmond all intersect on Lake Sammamish. So there is a small section of the lake that um, is associated with Issaquah. So let's say, I'm going to put a guess. Uh, hundred homes that are actually waterfront access or waterfront um, addresses with Issaquah. 
and the cheapest waterfront that you're going to find would be $3 million unless it's tear down and uh, you're just paying for the land and that might be closer to the uh, one five to two million, depending on the size of the lot and where it's located. So we put the drone up in the air so you can get a feel for the, the neighborhood. Um, directly across from us, um, uh, the cove, you're going to see Sammamish State Park. That is a public park that you can go whether you live in this neighborhood or not. And uh, they do allow boats to pull up and you can play on the sandbar. They have barbecue, basketball, all kinds of fun things to do there, but main recreation is going to be the water sports. So, okay, so we we're pulling up to the Sammamish Beach Club. This is a private club associated with uh, this neighborhood here. Now, not all the homes in uh, the shores in this neighborhood have access to the club. So, when you're looking to purchase, uh, if you're looking to purchase a home in here, uh, and that's something we definitely have to make sure that it is. Uh, connected your dues are about 200 bucks a year, so it's not much to join Beautiful beautiful homes the average square foot uh, square feet of the homes in here um, anywhere between 2,000 to 3,500 square feet would be average and then there are some really large four to 5,000 plus square feet homes in the neighborhood here and not uncommon to see houses that uh, are fully remodeled or even brand new construction. So right, we're gonna pull over so we can put the uh, drone up in the air and get some good footage. Okay, we are pulling into a neighborhood in Issaquah, Washington called The Lakes, known also known as up in Montrax. Or also, you'll hear people say Lake Mont. Um, these homes were originally developed in the early 90s. You can purchase a home in this neighborhood for 1.5 to $2 million, just depending on the square footage. Uh, but most of them were built in 1994. Common square footage, 3,000, uh, all the way up to uh, 4,500 square foot homes. Really beautiful. Now, uh, the difference of a 1.6 and a 1.9 is the remodel and the square footage. A lot of people purchase these homes today and they put an additional 100 to 300 into the home of their own custom design. Um, this being in 1994, most of these homes were built with cedar shake roofs, but now um, they're being replaced with composition roofs. Um, one thing I would be cautious of is the homes that were built with the dry bit, which is a synthetic. Uh, stucco um, that product does not do too well in the weather in the Pacific Northwest but this is a beautiful neighborhood what I like about this is <clears throat> Lake Mont uh, is dear and near to me um, as a kid um, when they cut in the road from I-90 um, uh, up in here in the hills they um, this was one of the biggest planned developments that uh, we'd ever seen so as kids we would ride our bikes to the top of the hill when there's no homes literally it was just construction they built roads and we'd go to the top of the road and take our bikes and you know see how fast we would be able to get going down that hill like 30 miles an hour and it is a fast steep windy hill and a lot of fun but then to see these amazing homes built and as a child is like wow this is a street of dreams this is amazing look at these homes <laughs> you know because um yeah it was kind of the i don't know call it the kickoff of the uh the beginning of the boom of the uh multi-million dollar beautiful homes in uh you know bellevue issaquah so 90 probably more than 90 percent of the homes up here are actually a bellevue address um even though the homes have a bellevue address a lot of them have Issaquah School District associated with them, but the lakes, the particular neighborhood that we're driving through right now, this definitely is an Issaquah address and Issaquah School District. Um, Issaquah has an amazing school district. Um, we'll drop a link in the description below um, on the school districts associated with all of the, uh, the homes up here, so you can get a feel for the middle schools, the elementary and the, the high schools. and. Uh, there's plenty of private schools to choose from as well so we'll put that link as well but honestly the schools are so good that you, it's almost like going to a private school okay 
we are on Issaquah 900 and we are turning into Talus. This is one of Issaquah's newest planned communities. Uh, it's not all that new, but they are, they continue to build homes up here. Um, this has been around for the last 15 years. Um, you can get, there's everything from apartments to condos, townhouses, and regular residential homes. Uh, some of the homes and townhouses do have views. Uh, as you can see, we're going straight up a hill. If you live in this neighborhood, you will definitely want to have all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. I mean, it only snows a couple days out of the year, and we typically in Issaquah only get between four to six inches of snow per year, and it's only a couple days a week, but well, this would be interesting to live on a hill like this, right? Um, great school district, great neighborhood, lots of parks, lots of walking trails, uh, just a great place to live, and you're really close to downtown Issaquah and all the shopping, so we have everything from Costco to Home Depot, I'm going to take a right and show you some of the townhouses and then we'll come back and we'll go up that hill even further. So all this section right there, you see that was a massive landslide. Um, and uh, so if you are looking to purchase up here, that is something that we have to be aware of. So on the right hand side, you see some townhouses. These are about anywhere between a thousand square feet to 1500 square feet. They sell for anywhere around uh, 475 up to 600,000. Uh, on our left hand side, these are larger uh, town townhomes. Um, you know, they're actually separated, but they're still considered um, condo slash townhouses. These are um, going to be in the price point of 800 and some are even up in the 900 price point, just depending on the square footage. Very colorful paint jobs on the home, sidewalks on both sides, full city utilities, so you have sewer, water, power, all provided by the city. You do have to pay for them, but it's not uh, independent utilities. There's some of the homes in Issaquah that you'll be looking at. We'll have wells, septic systems, solar not too much here in Washington. But. All right, we're still hiking the hill straight up, going to the top of the Talus neighborhood. I'll show you some of the new construction homes. They've already started selling them, but there are still some homes available. Put the drone in the air so you can see just how spectacular this view is. I mean, it is amazing. So the homes on my left and right, these start at 1.9 to 2.2 price point. Um, not uncommon to see 2.5 and there's even been some sales up to the 2.9 price point. Okay, we're driving through the Issaquah Highlands. The Issaquah Highlands was established in the early 2000s. This is kind of a self-contained neighborhood and uh, kind of a new experiment for Issaquah back in the early 2000s. Issaquah is mostly known for rural, large lots, one acres, two, three, and 10 acre homes. And a lot of, a lot of estate homes out here as well. Uh, but Issaquah started doing some planned communities, uh, Issaquah Highland being one of them. Um, it did fail in the uh, real estate uh, crash in 2007, 8, and 9 on the commercial side. They didn't finish developing it. They got all the homes done. Uh, but they weren't able to finish the actual supporting commercial uh, projects. They just kind of put everything on hold. But now today we have everything from Microsoft to hospitals, movie theaters, tons of grocery stores. So the Iswah Highlands is now self-contained. To live on the Highlands, your minimum starting price point is going to be $600,000. that will get you around a thousand square foot condo if you're looking for a townhouse around a thousand square feet 1200 square feet that's going to be closer to 725 750 but to get a house up here on the highlands or in the highlands 
you're looking at starting point 1.2 and uh, 1.6 is really common as well now if you want a larger home like a 3,000 square foot home on a 8,000 square foot lot you're definitely spending two million dollars to 2.5 and there are um, really close to us some estate homes that start at the 3 million and go up to the 10 million uh, we have quite a few of the of our baseball players at the Seattle Manors that live up here and uh, I won't take you on a tour of their neighborhood but it's actually really cool so Issaquah is so big this is just the tip of the iceberg this is almost one little section of Issaquah um, another great community which we're not going to go to today is Klahani you know Klahani that's an older established neighborhood smaller homes uh, starting price point you can we can find things there for uh, low one million dollars so with that said I'll toss the drone up in the air and we will show you kind of the Issaquah Highlands you're gonna see we're perched on top of a hill and the hill directly in front of me is Talus that's where we just were so we um, drove across the valley and up the other hill and here we are Okay, we are pulling into Issaquah Shopping Center. So we have everything from PCC to Michael's Office Depot. Um, probably put the drone up in the air to get a better view, but we have Costco right here. Actually, Costco headquarters is uh, right here as well. So if you work for Costco, you get to see what the uh, headquarters looks like. Okay, we're driving through downtown Issaquah. Downtown Issaquah still today has a historical feel to it. Issaquah was established in the uh, late 1800s. Uh, it was known for coal and logging. It's the library in front of us, beautiful. Issaquah is really strict with their ordinance downtown. They want it to um, have the historical feel. So you see a lot of mom and pop businesses, uh, very strict on the um, type of signs that you can put up. And the traffic is horrible. There's no, no way of getting around it. There's three roads through Issaquah and every single one of them will look like this on the left-hand side, just packed. Okay, so we're coming up to I-90. We're in downtown Issaquah. We're coming up to I-90. This is the main freeway or highway that'll get you to uh, downtown Seattle. Commute time, about 25 minutes. Now, if you want to go to downtown Bellevue, you have two options. You can go I-90 and take Highway 405, or you can stay on I-90 and get off on Bellevue Way. But if we wanted to go to downtown Bellevue, we can probably get there in 15 minutes from here. I-90 is a really fast commute. So we're actually going to hop on I-90 and head east, and we're gonna uh, work on our next video, um, Snoqualmie, and then also North Bend. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it added value, give us a thumbs up, and if you wanna see the next video, go ahead and subscribe. And if there's a video that you're interested in, whether it's a neighborhood or home or a topic, go ahead and comment below. We're interested in hearing what you have to say. We love doing these videos and we'll do our best to get to it. If you're looking to buy, sell, or stage your home in the Pacific Northwest, send us a text, give us a call, reach out. This is what we do and we'd love to help. Okay, until the next video, we'll catch you later. This is Matt Steele with Selling Seattle.